Mr. Solheim, you've said before that the uh, Belt and Road Initiative is a fantastic vehicle for promoting green global development. Um, how would you say the Belt and Road then works to facilitate the multilateralism that we need? And can you give us some examples of achievements? I mean, Belt and Road is the biggest investment scheme in other eras and suppose enormous important for the development uh, of the world. So this is of enormous importance if you want to go green. And when President Xi Jinping two years ago decided that China would stop all overseas coal investment, that's probably the most important decision for the environment made by any leader in the last decade. It's so significant. But of course, what immediately happened was that, well, Indonesia, Pakistan, Kenya, Ethiopia, they all said, oh, wow, China will not invest in coal any longer. Let's invest in solar, in wind, in hydropower, in all the green technologies. And I think that most important here, China can share its experience. How did China win the war on pollution? Look, 10 years ago, I was <laughs> jogging in Beijing. Uh, two mm -hmm. weeks ago, I happily went jogging in Beijing. The sky was blue, the sun was bright. It was just, just fun and nice, and you can inhale the, the air without any pollution. That knowledge of technology, China can share with the world. But maybe even more importantly, China should invest uh, in all the green technologies. Longi is now the biggest solar company in the world. Goldwinds is the biggest wind company in the world. BYD is the biggest electric vehicle company in the world. CITL is the biggest uh, electric battery company in the world. In all the green industries, China is now the industrial leader. And that means if they invest in Indonesia, in Brazil, in Europe, well, it will help create jobs in this destination, but it will also help them going green.